For women, there is the pill, hormone patches, intrauterine devices, even a shot to prevent pregnancy. Just ask any lady about it. I feel like so many girls complain about years and years of paying for them and buying them and missing and other forms of birth control because of that. But for men, the options are slim. Men only have the condom and vasectomy really as their contraceptive methods, and so they don't have very many choices. Dr. Stephanie Page is hoping to change that. She's a professor of endocrinology at the University of Washington and has been researching male birth control for 20 years. And we think by improving the menu of options for men, men will become more engaged in contraception. And with Roe, this is more important than ever. In 2018, Paige published her research on a pill that stops sperm production safely and only for as long as a pill is taken. Hormonal methods for men work very similarly to hormonal contraception for women. In this case, we're using testosterone instead of estrogen. More recently, she's leading a study on a gel applied on the shoulder that works similarly to a pill. We know that that blocks the production of sperm. And so in this study that we're doing now, um, we're testing whether it prevents pregnancy. Paige is recruiting for hundreds of more couples from 15 sites worldwide for the study. She says interest is high since the overturning of Roe versus Wade. We have seen a little bit of an uptick in terms of inquiries about the study. Would you want to take it if, if it were available for you guys? Absolutely. We asked if men would be on board should a male birth control pill get approved for market. Seems like an easy way for not to have their hormones going crazy on them and more fun than wearing a condom. A sentiment that isn't surprising to Dr. So. Page. There's more and more market research that's suggesting that men are actually very interested in contraception and new contraceptives, and I'm very hopeful that the pharmaceutical industry will embrace that. So why wouldn't I? That's an easy decision. And for some couples, such research is positive to hear. To have an option for the couple to discuss which, which form works best for them. So. I, I definitely do that over condoms every time. <laughs> in Seattle, Christine Pei, King 5 News.